This is Dr. Todd Fladen describing routine cataract surgery here at the Fladen Eye and LASIK Center. You just saw a caliper placed on the, on the surface of the eye, which is actually the cornea. The caliper is measured at 3.5 millimeters uh, in length. The globe is now fixated. Um, and a diamond blade was actually just used uh, at, at 0.5 millimeter of the original lens. This will be more easily seen uh, as the video progresses here and you see it spontaneously opening up. It's uh, made of an acrylic material. This is an Alcon SN60WF. Now this lens is what we call a monofocal lens. It gives excellent vision for distance um, it will also give excellent vision for near, but there does require one to wear a reading glass. There are, uh, is a second type of lens called a multifocal lens, which will enable one to see not only for distance without glasses, but also intermediate and near. Um, but patients with a reasonable amount of astigmatism or um, which is where the cornea front surface, vertical curve and horizontal curve are markedly disparate or different. Um, those patients do not uh, see as well with um, the multifocal lens and, and it is for this reason that um, uh, this patient um, uh, has having a, a monofocal lens. And now you can see the lens uh, very nicely. It, uh, very clear and it's you can see the uh, anterior capsule that was toward the window is uh, that it is on top of the implant that is the implant is inside it's, it's literally inside a the a flattened fishbowl and then just for protective reasons um, because as I said the distance we're going to use a um, 10 nylon suture which is finer than uh, a human hair to prove we don't need it. Um, we dried the wound and showed no spontaneous leakage. We could have completed the case at this point in time, uh, but for the next uh, minute and a half well, you'll see the placement of a um, tenonylon suture, which is quite interesting. It's actually um, uh, obviously positioned and tied uh, with um, uh, micro tying forceps and two square knots are used to secure it and then it's cut and the all the ends are buried so that the patient would have no feeling and this lens uh, this material is not absorbable but it's, and it's not felt it's as I say it's smaller than a human hair but uh, will be removed uh, usually three to six months after surgery in the office again uh, just like it's painlessly being um, inserted now placed uh, within the eye, uh, it can be done in the office uh, the very same way, just using um, numbing drops. Again, we're inflating the globe to its per pressure so that when we tie it, the um, suture, uh, everything should be just right. And now you're going to see the, there's a double throw, and um, now here comes the first square knot. There's the first, there's a square knot. Correct, with the, with the proper tension, you don't want it too tight. Uh, that will distort the cornea, cause visual blur due to increased astigmatism, and you don't want it too loose, here comes the second throw, which is also square knot, and we have it, um, the knot is uh, exactly the right uh, tensile strength, it's now cut close to the, each um, suture is cut close to the knot, 
and then we'll simply bury both ends and the knot into the cornea a substance or what we call stroma so that there's no sensation by the patient. If we were to leave it in this situation the patient would have a considerable discomfort but there's no discomfort by rotating uh, this material into the corneal surface underneath the corneal surface and it's well tolerated. Once this is completed the wound is checked to make sure that again there's no wound leakage and then we've completed the procedure. This basically completes the procedure.